Um, next question. Actually, I, I, is that that's all the questions. Um, I did get a question from Super Persian version, which I asked, which I answered in text. I won't be doing that anymore. It says, but will you, are you gonna LP black and white? Um, I would love to LP a DS Pokemon Both game, but that's the problem. So it's a DS Pokemon game. Right it's back. very hard to let's play DS Pokemon game. And now, so, a fierce glow. like, I, I'm not gonna record my screen. I'm never gonna record my screen. Like, just like have like a camera Good on the job. screen. I'm never gonna do that. And feels the but like, I really wish there was just some way to capture them pretty well. And I've looked up. There are some ways. There are capture cards, actually, I've seen. But one involves modding your first generation DS, and the other one involves... Um, the other one involves attaching a camera to the front screen, and it, it the quality can sometimes look okay, but with the way cameras work, it doesn't come out that well. So I would love to let's play a fifth generation Pokemon game. I would love to LP a fourth generation Pokemon game. That, that's just the problem. It's very hard to do that. And that's actually all the questions, and I did it by the fifth battle. That's not bad. I tried to stretch it out, to be totally honest, but keep like keep the questions coming. I I didn't mean to use combine. I like answering questions. I like knowing that you guys enjoyed asking me questions. You enjoy watching my videos. It it means a lot to me. Like I'm serious. Ah, oh, jeez, you can't use that in this battle, you idiot. Um. Well, one thing, well, one thing I never really said in a video, guys, is thank you so much for 300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I don't want to really like dwell in all the happiness, because to be honest, that's not. I shouldn't really be doing it, because if I try to do anything with 300 subscribers, it it it's doing trying to do a lot of things. I just want to really say thank you. It's the best thing I can do right now. Is just say thank you. But what I really would like to do, I would love, I got, I will do something, I'm not doing, as I'm saying, I'm not doing anything for 300 subs, but I will do something for when I get 500 subscribers, because I really want to do, I really want to do something for you guys, but I will propose something to you for fourth generation, for, I mean not fourth generation, for, four, for 400 subscribers. If you guys, if I get to 400 subscribers, 400 subscribers. I don't know why my voice just turned on to... 400 subscribers. If I can get to 400 subscribers by whenever, like it's probably going to happen at some point within Thousand New Door. I'm just going to guess, but who knows? It's kind of hard when there's somebody else doing a Thousand New Door Let's Play. Not the point. Um, I would love to give you, I will give you guys my hints as soon as I hit 400 subs. I'll give you the hint for my next Let's Play. And if you get me to 500, I'll tell you guys my, I'll just tell you guys what it is if you get me to 500. I'll tell you what my side Let's Play is going to be if you get me to 500. And if you get me to 600, I'll tell you my main game Let's Play if it doesn't happen. Now keep in mind, this offer is only valid up until I get to um, my next Let's Play, because I'm going to have to change things around. This but for 400, that seems like reasonable. Trainers. Like 400 subscribers, guys. I'm already at 300. It's only 100 more. And now, In with how many people there are on YouTube, 100 isn't that much. I'm sure you guys can, like, yeah, I'm not saying, oh, help me out or something. Like, I know I do this from time to time, but I'm not, I'm, tr I'm really trying not to ask for, like, your pity or anything. I'm just saying I would really I would just really enjoy having 400 500 subs. Someday guys, if I keep continuing this, I will break 1000 subs at some point. And it's going to be really fun. Like I love doing these let's plays. They they're really fun. It means a lot to me. Whoa, geez, an attract user, but I think for the same gender, aren't we? So yeah. Ah, <sighs> that's my spiel of talking about life. Um Stop you! What's with this person? One problem I do find with this game is that they really did not fix the combat in this game at all. I mean, they didn't... Why am I not thinking today? This is what I get on Friday when I have something to do, like, after school. 
Um, well, okay, I didn't even phrase that right, but anyway, what I mean to say is, I, I don't remember what I'm thinking now. I'm so lost. The AI in this game is terrible compared to Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium was really well done. If you have an N64 and you don't have Pokemon Stadium, I feel sorry for you. I'm, I'm, that's like, that is, to me, that is a... That is a game to have on the N64. That is a game that you should just have on the N64. Game, set, and match. It's a total victory anyway. Blue corner. So yeah, you guys know, all I need 400 subs by the end of... 400 subs by the end of Thousand Year Door, and you guys get my hints. Um, obviously, I will reveal the hints probably before... Like if I don't, if I don't re reach 400, it's because I don't want to kind of keep it away from my, from the fans that are just loyal. But you know what I, you know what I mean. Um, piglet, and then we'll bring, you know, we'll bring Steven and ice cream. So yeah, that's that's basically all I can really say. Like that's all I really want to say. We're already on the Coliseum leader here. Dun, 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 dun. I like how they add those little horns in the, the background to the last one. My legend starts here. A majestic Coliseum, isn't it? She's dressed up like a Kyogre. Dang straight, she's dressed up like a Kyogre because third generation was the best. No, it wasn't the best generation. I can, I can openly admit that third generation was probably not the best generation of Pokemon games. Well, there, the, it does have its own appeal. It, it pushed the boundaries. It tried to re remake itself, kind of like. It tried to turn itself back into blue by making itself kind of have, like, you can only catch, you can catch less than before. Because I think probably during Gold and Silver, people were complaining that, like, 350, that's going to take so long to catch them all. But then they narrowed it down to 200, so I guess it makes a little more sense in, like, that aspect. I don't know. Go flyless, use Blaze Kick. Why did you miss? It's far fetched. Um, Farfetch is commonly known as the worst Pokemon ever. And they get poisoned! Uh, like, if you were any better at this game, if you were any better at this game, Farfetch, you would be... You you probably could have done some damage to me. Well, bang. Anyway. Oh, yeah, if she's dressed up like a Kyogre, why does she have, like, water types? Oh, see, that's what you should have done in the first place. That looks so suggestive, the way he's holding that stick when he jabs you. It's rather scary, but... Anyway, whoop, bang. Ah, very tired now. I actually got out of class early today, if you don't read my Twitter. Um, by the way, if you do decide to send me questions, which I would really love to just read, and answer questions, as I've said earlier in this. Uh, keep in mind that I can only answer up till Friday. If you catch my video really late, I'm very sorry that I'm not going to get to answer it. Because if you answer it like Friday afternoon, I'm probably not going to get it in time because I record I record PBR um, Friday around noon o'clock. Around noon o'clock. Around noon. Whoa. What did it use? It didn't use, use Mirror Coat. Dang, that hurt. Still didn't kill me, but it hurt. One, sh one more Shockwave should take care of this. Bang, Shockwave. Wha-bang. So yeah, and there we go. We have defeated the Waterfall Coliseum. One of the more scenic looking Coliseums in the game. I must say, I just love the look of this place. I like the look. I like the look of a lot of the Coliseums in this game. Main Street was kind of okay, but it's not as good as like this one. I guess I need more training. You win. Anyway, Waterfall. It's a team battle. Team battles when you do things the way I just did it. Knockout battles was the way you saw in the first one. It's very simple. We haven't gotten any double battles yet, but I'm sure those are coming. You only get 350 this time around. I think it's because I lost one Pokemon in there. I don't know. Also, the Pikachu paint and new battle pass will be given to you as a reward for clearing. Waterfall Coliseum for the first time. Pikachu paint and a new battle pass. By the way, there's news from Pokotopia. Neon Coliseum and Crystal Coliseum have both just opened. 
and a new rental pass has become available in the Gateway Coliseum. All you have to do to get those extra rental passes that they're talking about <clears throat> is just just keep going to the Gateway Coliseum and you'll beat them. And I'll do that probably off screen or something. Let's see what we got here. The Neon Coliseum is using the wheel. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. I think you guys should watch next week for that one. Not only will it be answering your questions, but if you know anything about the Neon Neon Coliseum, you know about how that works. And the Crystal Coliseum, I believe that's our first double, too. A tournament with 16 contestants to be able to challenge a Coliseum leader. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting that 16 trainers... Um, a single battle, no, it doesn't say. Um, but basically, both of them are going to introduce some new aspects to the game. So, I highly suggest you check in next week, because I think next week we're going to go, I'm going to go with Neon first, because Neon, you guys have been looking for something fun to watch, so I'm going to go with the Neon Coliseum next week. I will see you guys, all of you, and I can't wait to talk to you guys, answer your questions some more. See you guys all next week.